So this is a broader view from Sheila in Guatemala. Um, can you introduce yourself? My name is Houston Sachs, and I'm here with my wife from we're from Sacramento, California. Okay. And where have you volunteered here in Chile? Where? At the Urban Medical Clinic, it's called, I believe. Yep. <laughs> All right. And what have you done here uh, this past month? I dealt with what's called pre-consulta or pre-consultation, like it is in the U.S. Just to take your blood pressure, get some interfacing information, a temperature, height, and weight, and then the people get sent off to have their visits. Right. Um, and what was the part that you liked most about volunteering here in the clinic? About volunteering, I liked. I think I liked most dealing with the children. Um, it was just nice to see them innocent, and needing help and to play a small role in helping them out whenever they have fever or whatever ailments they have and then you feel good. Okay. Um, and tell me a little bit about your uh, accommodations here in, in Chile. Accommodation. Oh, accommodations. Um, so we live with a host family, Mama Lily, uh, and she has a house, a good sized house actually. And um, yeah, we stayed there with her. She cooked us almost all our meals. She's a really great cook, actually. A really great person. And her family was often there, too, which is nice. Her daughters and grandchildren. And um, yeah, it was great. It made me feel at home. Very welcoming person. And especially when you're coming off of travel from whatever wherever it was, 12 or 20 hours of traveling, and you get there and you feel awkward because it's not your house, but she was really nice and really welcoming, accommodating to you know, whatever you need. Yeah. And can you tell me a little bit about um, Shela, the city where you've been? How did you? What did you think of the city? How did it feel? Uh, it was a big culture shock for sure. Anybody coming from uh, the United States will see that, but you'll also notice that it's. Don't be as afraid as people tell you to. A lot of people say it's scary, there's gangs, it's dangerous. Uh, I think that's uh, taken out of context um, because I really felt safe here. Very safe. The people, arguably, are actually nicer on the street. Everybody says hi to you. And Erica, depending on where you're from, but I'm from Sacramento, if nobody walking past you will even look at you or smile at you. So it was kind of nice seeing that from the people, and it was definitely not dangerous. Um, but, and the cult, it was neat to see a different culture and see how people live. Um, and people do live differently from the United States, not the only country in the world to live in. So I just like getting a different perspective than most. Yeah. And learning Spanish. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and was there things to do here in Sheila? Yeah, plenty to do. Time? Lots of here. I always go straight to coffee, lots of coffee shops. Um, Lots and lots of coffee shops. You can almost go to a different one each day of the week. Um, you can go to the mall, you can go, there's plenty of different restaurants to go to, you can taste a lot of different things. And the outdoor stuff is great, um, the hiking, the scenes. Um, yeah. Yeah. Nice. Um, why did you choose a broader view? So I can't say that I uh, explicitly chose a broader view, my wife did, and I just trusted her, but. Um, Glad that you made the choice because I have not, we have not had any problems with the broad review, and they've always been really helpful and attentive to our needs. And the contact was right there and like that. And they give you their phone numbers and uh, yeah. So I can't say why I chose it, but I can say I'm glad it was chosen. All right. <laughs> um, do you have any tips for future volunteers coming to Shela? Tips for future volunteers. What to bring or what to do? Um, definitely see uh, Lago de Atipan or Lake Atipan. It was probably the the coolest thing I saw while I was here in terms of at least like traveling outside the the city. I would definitely recommend going to that, seeing all the volcanoes. It's um, it's pretty cool, especially if you have a good view and um, just have an open mind. I think, like it says in the bar view statement, uh, the culture is different here, and just come into it, you know, being more accepting instead of if you see something that's a little weird or if you think somebody offends you, it's probably not the case that they're actually trying to offend you. It's just the, the, the way of life here. Yeah.
And do you consider um, that the clinics here have needs, like for volunteers to fundraise or oh, yeah. something like that? Clinics do seem to have a great need here for both volunteers and funding, uh, or just any kind of donations and medical supplies there. It definitely yeah. uh, Alright. What will you miss most from here after leaving? I think I'd have to say the family. The, the host family was very nice to us. It's going to be kind of like leaving home again to go home. <laughs> so uh, hopefully we get to see them again, whether it's us coming back here or uh, them coming to stay with us in America. Yeah, perfect. Well, thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed your time here. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. A Broader View Volunteers is a volunteer overseas organization, 501c3 nonprofit USA based organization. You can tax deduct the program fees, available year round. You choose your own program start and end dates, 27 country locations to choose from, programs available from one week up to three months in length, 245 perfectly balanced projects, experience, price, service, 100% cultural immersion, including local homestay and guest house accommodations. Program fees include airport transportation, orientation, housing meals, 24-7 in-country support. Suitable options for solo travelers, gap year, honeymooners, families, mature travelers, and groups. Excellent safety record and platinum-rated nonprofit organization per GuideStar. Five reasons to volunteer abroad. Do you know what volunteering abroad involves? Why you should consider volunteering? Which countries you can volunteer in? how you'll make a lasting difference among communities in developing countries. What is volunteering abroad? A volunteer vacation involves traveling abroad to carry out unpaid work, often in a developing country, with the aim of having a positive impact on the people, community, and environment. Nonprofit volunteering organization, A Broader View, which has been established for over a decade, was founded on the belief that one person can make a very real difference. That's why we offer travelers the opportunity to participate in meaningful, rewarding service work, all while exploring a new country. Volunteering overseas not only matches skilled and passionate individuals to the communities where they are most needed, but also helps to promote trust and communication between nations. Choose from a diverse range of programs. Enjoy a completely immersive cultural experience. Make a lasting difference in the places that need it most. Volunteering abroad is a fantastic way to travel and explore the world. Learn a new language. Why volunteer with A Broader View? Now that you understand the reasons behind volunteering abroad, it's time to choose a reputable, trustworthy organization that will send you on the trip of a lifetime. A Broader View has been organizing humanitarian programs since 2007. In that time, we have sent thousands of volunteers to over 245 project sites in 25 different countries, from solo, couples, small groups, university groups, medical missions, and gap year trips. Join us and get a broader view of the world. Facebook.com slash abroad.volunteer, YouTube.com slash a broader view org, Pinterest.com slash volunteers ABV slash volunteers at a broader view dot org, USA 866 423 3258, UK 020 3289 9896, Australia 028003 3474.